Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is a Wednesday afternoon. We're halfway through the work week. We got thunderstorm chances in the forecast as we go through the next couple days. I hope you're having a great Wednesday so far. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the hot spots. Over the next two days, uh, we'll kind of go through time. There's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of showers, a lot of thunderstorms across central and southern parts of the plains. We're going to look at our severe threat, and then we'll briefly kind of talk about what's going to happen down the road. But let's go ahead, and I'll show you what's going on. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and operated, located 7th and High Street in Joplin. Um, they did my roof, gosh, I think in November-ish. Uh, give them a call. Numbers right there on the screen, especially as we are into severe weather season. Another season. Last year wasn't bad at all. Last year, uh, this is my 21st severe weather season that I've gone through here. Uh, I've been here a long time. Last year was the calmest severe weather season I've ever seen in my entire life. So I, to do that back-to-back -back years is just not going to happen. All right, it's very warm. It's very windy out there. A lot of mid and upper level clouds, especially across Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas. But most of the four-state area is dry. But look at this storm system rolling out of the central parts of the Rockies. So through parts of Colorado, Utah, down through Arizona, moving into New Mexico and still hanging up in parts of California that has been hit very hard. That is our next storm system that will start to affect us here in about 24 hours. Until then, we stay nice, mild, and very windy. All right, so hot spots over the next week. Let's look at this. This is going to be tomorrow. So we have a severe threat from southwestern Texas, San Angelo, Abilene, Dallas, Wichita Falls, Lawton, Oklahoma City, right up to about northwest Arkansas, yeah, right along that I-44 corridor with the hot spot for large hail really being central parts of Texas into southern parts of Oklahoma. And I could probably extend this just south of Oklahoma City. So that's the big severe weather hot spot for us tomorrow. As we go into Friday, it shifts east. So a severe threat from the Boot Hill, Missouri, Little Rock all the way through Louisiana with the hot spots kind of being from Memphis to Jackson, uh, Monroe, Louisiana. And then this system pushes off toward the east. We do have another system on Sunday that will at least produce a severe threat for parts of Texas, Louisiana, and southern parts of Mississippi. And then besides that, I don't see another severe threat until next Thursday, which is like the 28th. I think 23rd. No, it would be the 30th. Yeah, 30th. Uh, and then 30th. And then again, April 1st. And then April 4th and 5th. So, I mean, we really get moving here once we get into the next uh, couple weeks. So, uh, that first week of April, we're going to have two shots for severe weather. Of course, that's based off my pattern, the heady pattern, the LRC, uh, Gary Lezak. Um, and then there's several other meteorologists who use this across the country. Jeremy Nelson, uh, Savannah, Georgia, he uses it to predict hurricanes. Pretty accurate as well. All right, so let's go through time. Let's go through this afternoon. Look at this. I mean, you can see where that warm front is. Kansas City, 58. But Joplin, 74. 80 in Tulsa. 81 in Oklahoma City. Wichita at 79. We're going to have winds gusting 30 to 40 the rest of the day. A lot of clouds. Clouds thicken tonight, but look, we don't really cool off. I mean, Salina, Dodge City, Wichita, you cool down 40s and 50s because you're on the north side of the front, Kansas City. Everybody else stays into the 60s as we go through the night. Now, as we go into tomorrow, our cold front drops in. See this wind shift line right along the I-44 corridor. So there's going to be some showers and a few thunderstorms that pop up during the afternoon Joplin, Springfield, Branson, northwestern parts of Arkansas. But again, remember where that hot spot is, Oklahoma, down through parts of Texas. But things really don't get moving until late afternoon into the evening hours. So let's continue and go through time. Look at this. Here's 430 in the afternoon. Thunderstorms explode. Oklahoma, again, you can see that wind shift line right along that front. Now, these storms from Oklahoma City just south of Tulsa, so 
along and south of that front have the potential for large hail. Golf ball size hail, maybe a little bit bigger. These storms explode, push into northwest Arkansas, southern parts of Missouri. But look at the winds. We have a northerly wind. We're dropping into the 50s in Joplin. So it, I think along the I-44 corridor, we are talking about just good old thunderstorms. But we could get some severe weather. Remember, I had that severe threat all the way up into northwest Arkansas. So some of those guys, Bentonville, Fayetteville, Springdale, down to Fort Smith, could be severe, even over toward West Plains. I got the LaCroix again because I'm addicted. All right. At this time, here's 7 p.m., storms are refiring back toward Oklahoma City, but we're watching down through central parts of Texas. So let's continue. As we go through the evening, very heavy amounts of rain along and south of the I-44 corridor. It's just training of storms. So kind of like a train. It's cart after cart after cart. Uh, that's what we see with these storms. Again, most of these along the I-44 corridor, not severe. But then these guys get going. These are going to be supercells. Western Oklahoma, central parts of Texas, and those will have the potential. Uh, it, it, tornado threat is pretty low. But the hail threat is very high, large hail, as that uh, as those storms start getting going tomorrow evening. All right, so now we're at about 3 o'clock in the morning, Friday. Showers, thunderstorms, again, along the I-44 corridor. Severe threat in Oklahoma is pretty much done, but we still have some severe thunderstorms central parts of Texas, but they weaken as they push toward the Dallas metro area. And this is going to produce heavy amounts of rain. I think a lot of areas, I-44 in the northwest Arkansas, there's going to be two, three, four inches. Again, southeastern Kansas kind of gets robbed. You guys just don't get much rain. Most of it is going to be Joplin south. As we continue into Friday morning now, the rain southeastern parts of Missouri, we got good old thunderstorms, northwest Arkansas, and then approaching Little Rock. Thunderstorms all the way down through Dallas. No severe thunderstorms at this time. Let's continue through Friday. We're on the back side of this system, so now we have showers, maybe even a little bit of thunder, and may even get a few flakes of snow mixing in northeastern Kansas, northwest Missouri, but you can see light showers. Uh, just kind of a gloomy raw day on Friday. Let's go into late Friday. Finally, this storm system wrapping up. Still some showers. Look at this. A little bit of snow trying to mix in towards St. Joe, Maryville, northwest Missouri. Now all the severe weather, Memphis, down into northern parts of Louisiana. And then we'll get rid of this storm system and then we'll watch for the next one, which will roll in by the time we head into Sunday. So a quick check over the next week or so. I took off the top here because we've already passed it, but severe threat this Thursday and Friday, thunderstorm chances Sunday, and then next Thursday and Friday, there is going to be a threat. Then we get into April, that first week of April, um, you know, the 5th, 6th, 7th, we could have events, and then all the way through April, which we'll discuss a lot more in depth as we get a little bit closer to it. But just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of what's going to happen. Hope you guys are having a great day. Of course, I'll be at KOM 56910 tonight. And if you have any comments, questions, anything you want me to go over, make sure you leave it in the comment section. All right, guys, have a great Wednesday.